Jerry Rose for the Thomas Beacon and Ola.com at Parkview Baptist with Adam Tarver, who is our all Baton Rouge area small schools uh, baseball pitcher of the year. Uh, fantastic year for y'all, obviously. I'm um, getting back to the to the state tournament. Um, really successful all around the year, and you were a big part of that. Uh, you had been a big part of the success last year as well, but kind of a different role. Um, obviously, you're pretty relied on to, to do some things offensively, but also pitching-wise, mm -hmm. you'd been more called <laughs> on on the, in the back end of games last year, and then this year you were the, the Tuesday guy, kind of the go-to starter. What was that like coming into this year? What, what were your expectations and, and whatnot starting your senior season, particularly in terms of that transition? Uh, it, was a, it was pretty different. Um, closing, it's uh, it's more of a kind of you go full speed for one or two innings, and versus starting, it's kind of I wouldn't say pace yourself, but you have to kind of conserve energy in a way. The coach told me just to have the same mindset when you're as you're closing, just go balls out for all seven innings, and mm -hmm. then I've, I've eventually just gained endurance for that, and just kind of played out the rest of the year. So it's pretty much just figuring out. A little bit of mindset and, and stretching out the endurance were the two biggest things. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, from from early on in the season to where, whether you got or the team got late in the year, how big of a of a progression was that from game one to game what, twenty whatever thirty whatever? Uh, it was a really big progression. I mean, we had a. Uh... At the beginning of the season, you kind of figure each other out, kind of gel together. Had some different players in different spots. And then I would say by the middle of district, we, we had a set lineup, and we mm -hmm. all gelled together, had fun, and we just played the game the right way. Was there a specific turning point? You remember like a game where it all seemed like it was starting to click or, or a practice where everything kind of made sense or a talk that, that you all had or anything that seemed like it was? Um. District, we kind of kind of getting together, but once we started playing, once we played brutally and got those two big wins, we kind of kind of we kind of clicked in our head like, hey, let's get it going. Like everybody worked together, worked hard, and just we had fun with it. We talked about, I guess your your role in terms of at which points in the game you were pitching and stuff like that, and how that changed a little bit. How did you feel about the dynamic of of you as a senior? Because it seemed like you were a guy that was one of the notable leaders and as you were doing other people could kind of follow or feed mm -hmm. off that or, or anything like that what was what was that aspect of the role like just in terms of being one of the the older guys one of the seniors well i know like uh, some people on the team look up to me and stuff i mean people look up to uh, different people in their lives but as a team i just knew that i had that weight on my shoulders so I just always carry yourself in a positive manner no matter what's going on and then just energy just feeds off each other, like you said. And talking to Coach Mitchell, he mentioned a point in the the Evangel game where you come into the dugout and you say, "They're not scoring any more runs off of us. Just let's let's get the offense going a little bit, and we're going to be fine." How much? I don't think that was an attitude that came that late in the season. It <laughs> seems like it was one you had with you a lot of the year. Is that is that kind of what you're talking about? What's what's that mindset, that confidence like for you? How big was that? Uh, it was big, and especially for the team, especially in that game. We got down four runs in the second inning. I, mean, I just told everybody, hey, look, I got us. Let's just scratch together, have some fun with it, just play the game. And then throughout the rest of the season, I mean, earlier in the season, I just you just got to gotta carry the team. And every, the team, we play hard, so it all plays into effect. What's that, the balance like, something else that Coach and I talked about where you're obviously laid back. Any time that we've talked, you've been real laid back. You make sure a lot of focus goes to the team and whatnot. But you're obviously real confident. Um, you, you know that you're one of the, the best players on the field any time you, you go out there. What is that like to, to kind of balance the, uh, I guess, the confidence and the humility or, or calm or whatever and intensity? Uh, I really that's a tough question to answer. Yeah. <laughs> uh, they couldn't all be easy. <laughs> uh, it's just... Like when you're out there on the mound, you just gotta think, hey, I'm better than that guy, and you go get him. If he beats you, you tip your cap. I mean, that's just kind of how I play with it, and you just, I mean, you stay calm because you don't try not to let anything get to you. Because baseball is a pretty, that's a pretty mental game. Mm -hmm. So you just, you gotta stay calm, even kill pretty much the whole time. So I guess wrapping up the the high school career, obviously, y'all have had a ton of success. You've had a ton of success. How's it feel to be? be finishing knowing that you'll be heading to college pretty soon and 
your days at, at Parkview are, are done? Uh, it's a really weird feeling, actually. It's just, I don't know, you know it's a different it's a chapter in your life, and you look back on it, and we've had some great memories here, and now it's just on to better things. Uh, fastball, you were hitting low 90s, right? And obviously, when, when you had the curve working, that was when people really couldn't do a whole lot of, of anything with it. But heading to Nichols, what are going to be some of the things you work on, um, whether it be your pitches or a mental aspect or any type of adjustment or anything? What's, what's kind of the, uh, the next step of progression for you heading to the college game? My biggest progression, I would say, is learn to pitch more, not just throw. I mean, because yeah. in high school you can you can just throw really hard and blow it by people sometimes. I mean, better teams you can't do that against. Right. But yeah, in college you just gotta learn to pitch more, hit your spots, and just learn how to maneuver with hitters. Fair enough. Adam Tarver, our All Baton Rouge Area Small Schools Baseball Pitcher of the Year for Nola.com and Thomas Picayune, Jared Roser.